Yeah, and, and and you study business as well in, in college? No, no, not in college. Afterwards. Afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, like, how old were you when you started studying business? When I started making a lot of money and I didn't know what to do with it. So, 19, 20. 19, 20 years old. Yeah. So you were a professional player. Yeah. And how did you, did you manage to do that? Like, it, was it challenging? No, because if you don't know how to, if you don't study and learn certain ways, you lose it all. So. I was making so much money, I had to have, like they say invest, but invest in what? What is investing? What do you invest in? So you gotta, you gotta like study these things and you know, you gotta, you know, uh, LLCs and sub chapter S corporations and how you can get tax breaks and like you have to know, if you don't know all that, you'll just, you'll get all the money and then you'll spend all the money. So I just had to, I just had to learn those things. Yeah, it's interesting because there are some abilities that are uh, necessary for every profession independently of, of what you do. And I think those skills are, are worth learning, like uh, learning about business, learning how to negotiate, learning how to speak or, or express yourself. Yes. Even if you're a basketball player, an economist, a doctor, it will eventually open doors. So you understood that maybe that was a path for you to, to construct a better future? I, I didn't understand that. I was just, I didn't, I didn't want to be broke when I was done playing. So I just need... Like, I was getting so much money, I didn't know what to do with it. Like, they say put it in the bank, but what if the bank shuts down? Yeah. Right? Like, the FDIC only insures $200,000, so I can't put $10 million in the bank if it shuts down. I only be able to recover $200,000. So I had to, like, learn all this stuff. And it was fun, because when you learn all this stuff and you master all this stuff, when you're done playing, you get to uh, uh, maintain the same lifestyle. How does it feel uh, to, to have achieved the goals that, that you proposed yourself of doing when you were younger? And how has those goals changed? Because you're, right now you're not in that position of... of I, haven't, uh, I haven't achieved anything. So I'm programmed to once I finish a job, I go do something else. I don't celebrate. So it's the reason why I'm still working. I like to work. So you so, leave your successes behind fast? Yes, very fast. Because yeah. it's easy to live in a success, right? It's, it's easy yeah. to stay there. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to stay there. So I, I love Mexico. We're coming here and doing business, but got to go to Poland next. And after you go to Poland, got to go back to the States. And then we got to go to Argentina and China. So I just like to keep working. And I think, I think that keeps me motivated. And, and do you think there's going to be a point in, in your life that you're going to look back and pat yourself in the back and say, like, I made a really great job like it was a or or you're gonna continue when uh she asked me to marry her then i'll stop <laughs> that's, i'll stop right now yeah that's when and, you're stop. and have the biggest house in where you live at you live in mexico city yeah. oh yeah we'll have the biggest house in yeah. mexico city what, what do you think about uh about like no I'll, i'll stop in i don't know five years five years yeah maybe In, in your business career, if, if we could say it that way, or, or what do you mean, like in... No, I, uh, in five years, I would like to uh, just, just, just travel. I would travel, and I would take a lesser role with the team. Okay. Like Danny will do more, Olivia will do more, like everybody will do more, and if you need me, call me. But the team, like the team has won so many championships, we know what to do, and they don't really need me all the time, so I wouldn't mind being, living in Mexico City and, Buenos Aires or the Bahamas so I probably want to get a big boat and just travel do you ever think about your legacy in, in the sport yes I just I just want people to say Shaq was a nice guy Shaq was a nice guy that's it I don't care forget the shoes forget the money forget all of that was he a nice guy was he nice to you and was he nice to your wife was he respectful to you and did he respect your wife that's it so you know a lot of people I want this and that I don't nobody cares about that was he a good guy so Uh, hopefully, when I when I leave Mexico, people say he was a great guy. That, that's a, a a really good way to look at legacy because sometimes we invent ourselves like these stories about success and about uh, achieving certain stuff. But when we strip it down, like to the most humane elements of our life, like it's easy to to be grateful and to be kind and to be appreciative of of, of what we have, right? I agree. But my love, my my definition of success was being able to buy my mother a house. And I know a lot of the, the moms around here know what I'm talking about. You wake up, you cook for the kids, you work one job, you work another job, and you come home and you still don't have a lot. That was my mom. So when I played and made all this money, 
whatever you want, mama. That's my level of success. Not the cars, not the houses, not the plane. Forget all that. Being able to buy this woman, mama, anything she wants. And that's what you know, success is for me. So when it comes to the legacy and people saying I'm a superstar, I don't want to be a superstar. I want to be a, a regular person. What year did you bought the house? 92. 92, when, no. you, when you were a rookie. First check. That was the first check you ever had? That was your first priority? I didn't even have a place to stay. I want to take care of her first. Her, her and my father and my brothers and sisters. That's crazy. And, and was it like bizarre in, in a way having this objective for so much time and then eventually accomplishing it and, and saying like okay I need to focus on what's next no it's just I, I was just happy that I was able to do it and because they supported me and helped me get the way I, I owed them that That's crazy. a lot of people don't take care of their family I, I owe you all this that you're about to get I got more coming but this first check any car you want boom boom shopping boom here you go And then it just makes you work harder. Man, I just spent a lot of this house. Now I gotta go get it. It just it just keeps you working. Like if I'd have did that and then stopped, she probably she probably wouldn't be living in the house anymore because she probably would have lost it. So after you after you complete something, you do it and then you move on. And do you ever think like about your own mortality, like like how how time has passed? Like no, uh, I'm I'm amazed that children know who I am. I'm amazed that. People in Mexico knows who I am, and hopefully that lasts forever. But if it doesn't, I understand.